Hello and welcome to this YouTube video on Parole Disorder. My name is Dr. Peter Holzman. I'm a medical practitioner, naturopath and professional speaker based in Melbourne, Australia. Parole Disorder, otherwise known as Paraluria or Mo Factor, was first identified in the 1950s by Dr. Abram Hoffer, Dr. Humphrey Osmond and Dr. Carl Pfeiffer. Pyrroles are a byproduct of making your red blood cells, specifically of haemoglobin synthesis. Most people have got low levels of pyrroles at any given time, but some people have got persistent elevated levels due to abnormal haemoglobin metabolism or synthesis. Health problems associated with excessive levels of pyrroles include mood disorders such as bipolar disorder, anxiety and depression. They can also be associated with learning and behavioural problems. Pyrroles bind vitamin B6 and zinc, making them unavailable for use by the body. Biotin, magnesium and manganese are also affected. It is a lack of these vitamins and minerals which causes many of the symptoms of pyrrole disorder. So what are these symptoms? Well they include poor dream recall which is classical of vitamin B6 deficiency, white spots on nails and stretch marks both of which are to do with zinc deficiency, digestive problems, anxiety, mood swings and sensitivity to noise and lights. Hair mineral testing is an excellent screening test for measuring levels of nutritional or healthy minerals as well as toxic metals such as mercury and lead. A combination of anxiety and high copper on a hair mineral test increase the diagnostic possibility that someone is suffering from pyroluria. Here is a hair mineral test for a lady with long-term anxiety. And what you can see is that the level of copper is very high and the level of zinc is relatively low compared to the copper. These are the results of her Mo factor test and you can see that it is positive with a reading of 26.25 which is well and truly above the upper level of normal at 10. Here is another hair mineral test result and you can see that the copper level is significantly higher than any of the other minerals on the chart. You can also see to the right the toxic elements that uh, there's an indication of some mercury. Mercury and lead are well known to disrupt or interfere with haemoglobin synthesis. And here's a third example of a hair mineral test showing relatively high levels of copper uh, compared to fairly low levels of zinc. This case study helps to summarise some of the common reasons that people see me with the cryptopyrrole disorder. And so this lady saw me because of anxiety, ADHD, poor dream recall, impaired concentration, focus and memory, as well as sleeping difficulty. The levels of nutritional minerals on this lady's chart look quite different to the last three uh, charts shown and effectively is consistent with this lady having been in a state of fairly high stress for some time. Once again, however, you can see that the level of copper is higher than that of zinc. In addition, uh, mercury and aluminium and a tiny bit of lead show up in the toxic element area. And once again, mercury and lead significantly interrupt or interfere with haemoglobin synthesis. This lady's urinary pyrrole or Mo factor test was done by a different laboratory. The normal range is less than 10. Her result, however, was significantly higher at 277.3. It is often useful to measure blood levels of minerals. So for example, we can measure zinc 
and zinc will often be in the low range, although in this case it's uh, relatively in the average or middle range. Copper levels are classically in the upper part of the range or over the top of the normal range. Another useful blood test is of seroloplasmin. Seroloplasmin is the major copper carrying protein in the blood. Each of these proteins has six atoms of copper. Seroloplasmin is also very important because it plays a role in iron metabolism. So in this case, you can see that the seroloplasmin level is 0.32, which is above the top of the normal range at 0.3. And this is consistent with this lady having excessive levels of copper. Nutritional therapies include vitamin P5P, which is the activated version of vitamin B6, magnesium, manganese, molybdenum, biotin, vitamin C, and essential fatty acids. Additional treatments are also required. Unfortunately, it is not simply a matter of taking one or two magic pills. Digestive advice and retreatment to repair intestinal permeability and improve nutrient absorption is essential. Detoxification of heavy metals such as lead and mercury can be very helpful. And stress management as emotional stress is associated with increased pyrrole excretion. Thank you for taking the time to watch this YouTube video on pyrrole disorder. You are welcome to ring reception on 03 6 for an appointment so that I can help get your health and energy back on track.